God is dreaming all human beings, all animals, all trees, plants, all objects. And we are just dream characters in the dream. But also, it is not separate. The, <laughs> the divine himself is manifesting as all that. No separation. Oneness. Yeah, these characters is what I call avatars, by the way. Yeah. As avatars, the characters, the jivas, are exactly all actors in God's dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But God Himself be exact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and what we what we kind of look into in those satsangs is to see is there this separation between God and me? And you just discovered there isn't. Yeah. So somehow. This God that is dreaming us as our avatars is our very own self, is our very own being. We just, as avatars, as a mind, we don't remember <laughs> that we wrote the script and we hired the director and we are the producer and that we actually even are the, the, the scene and the theater. All of that is our own substance as consciousness, so to speak. So we play this game with ourselves of forgetting. Why? Because it's much more exciting to not know, apparently, why having this avatar, this character, to fully plunge into the dream and play it for a while at least, even as serious and real, but even if not, even if we have seen through the ignorance, even if we understand that God consciousness the dreamer is actually my very own essence we still may choose and most of us will choose still to not know what's going to happen tomorrow in the dream it's like when you go to sleep at night and you have a dream if you it would be very boring if you would go to bed every night and you would know what you're going to dream it's like oh no and it's like oh this dream again or i don't want to you know you you play surprised in your dreams but you have created the dreams in your own mind don't you it's your mind that creates the dream in the night and while you're dreaming you play surprised it's like, oh no i didn't see this one coming it's the same here in the big dream. We love to be surprised by our own creation. So we leave it to Ishvara. We leave it to God. It's like, you know what? I voluntarily, as consciousness, as Shiva, I give it to you. You run the show. You are the director. I'm just an actor. And I want to play and enjoy the acting. Even when I seen through the play, I still may, because I came here to play, because it's the Leela, right? I want to, once the ignorance is dissolved, it's a wonderful, playful creation, universe. So out of my own interest, I will still leave it to God, to Ishvara, to create all the scenes and everything, and I will be very surprised, and I will act out of surprise. You understand? Uh yeah, but I see it in another way. It is 
not me, but what I, what all the teachers are saying, it is as if God has disguised himself as one billion, seven billion people, as animals, trees, objects, as Pancho and Adria. But because you want to have the experience of all these people, animals, and plants and objects. But now, in order to have the experience of Pancho and Adrien, he has to forget himself. <laughs> Without forgetting himself, he can't have the experience of Pancho and Adrien speaking and asking questions and then giving answers. So somehow he has to forget himself and take limitations to play the role of Pancho, to play the role of Adrien. So, so when Tisha said, for example, Pancho is asking a question and Adrien is thinking and giving the answer, but no, it is good asking the question. Yes, yes, very good, Pancho. Giving, I'm very happy you can see that. Because some think reply. like, oh, I am, I, I, some think Adrian is the teacher and Pancho is a student, but you just exactly said it's not true. There's just one cosmic being, so to speak, one consciousness playing with itself, playing of forgetting, playing of remembering, Absolutely, absolutely true. I sometimes shared this story when I was a kid. When I grown up, I had no siblings, so I, I've been playing chess with myself. How do you play chess with yourself? You have to pretend to forget the other side, the move that you made. You have to convince yourself that you don't know so you can enjoy the game. Yeah. That's Shiva's play. That's Mr. exactly... Bean. What's Mr. happening? Bean did it. <laughs> Mr. Bean was playing with himself. <laughs> Mr. Bean, yeah. <laughs> this is a cosmic joke. Cosmic joke. <laughs> no, it's very serious, Pancho. <laughs> no. Yes, this is the magic. No, we spoke about this in our last meeting. You might, uh, we have the recording available. I spoke a lot about this, this magic of apparently forgetting and remembering and that we are those magicians. It's, it's a fascinating thing. But we have to get through the ignorance, the apparent ignorance, because even the ignorance is not real in deeper understanding. But as long it feels real, as long it thinks real, as long it perceives to be real, the separation, the me as a separate entity, as an individual actor with its own consciousness, with its own responsibility, with its own sense of me, we have to penetrate that separate me with this non-dual understanding. We have to, you know, feed it the candy of wisdom over and over again until it can really laugh about this cosmic joke and enjoy it fully and what comes with it, of course, it's not an enjoying like a imaginary ego enjoying the world it will usually turns out to be a very compassionate and a very loving and a very very caring consciousness as the avatar it usually turns out like that so i call it loving awareness it knows it's a cosmic joke joke and still cares for its own creation and for those who still apparently are in ignorance and so forth in suffering it will do it best to alleviate this suffering which it knows that it's actually not real 